In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix crashing and not launching issues with my time at Samrock on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you need to do is just ensure Windows is up to date. And this can be done by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting settings and then update and security. And now click and check for updates button. If Windows does detect a new update, then it will begin to download and install them like you can see it's doing now on my screen. Once it has finished installing the update, restart your computer and then see if the game now works. Also, if you do have an optional feature update below, then go ahead and download and install that as well. Just ensure you have backed up any important files just in case anything was to go wrong. So once you've updated Windows and if the game's still not working, then the next thing that we want to do is just ensure we have the latest driver installed for our graphics card. So if you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then go to device manager. You then need to expand display adapters. And as you can see, I have an Nvidia graphics card and it's a GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to go to the Nvidia website and download a driver for a 1660 Super. I will pop links in the description below to Nvidia, Intel and AMD. And also if you're not too sure on how to update your graphics driver, I will also pop some links in the description below to guides that we have done on how to do just that as well. So once you've finished updating your graphics driver, now launch the game and that should have hopefully fixed the issue you've been having if it was related to graphics causing the game to crash. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is open up File Explorer and you then need to go to the location where you installed my time at Sandrock. Once you're in the location, you then need to find the sandrock.exe and you will see the Sandrock icon like you can see on my screen at the moment. You then need to right click on this and go to properties. You then need to select compatibility and tick run this program as an administrator. Now press apply and OK. And before you launch the game, Ensure you have also closed everything down. Make sure you don't have a web browser open, a music player, a app that controls the RGB of your mouse and keyboard. Just ensure absolutely everything is closed down. And that also goes for ensuring that you don't currently have any other users signed into your Windows computer. And to check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to task manager. Next, you need to select users. And if there is a user signed in, you will see them here. You will then be able to click onto the user and then click sign out. Just ensure they don't have anything open that they need to save first before you sign them out. Otherwise, they will lose that data. Once you've done all that, and if that didn't help, we now want to close everything down and then right click on the start menu icon again, but this time select power options. You then need to click on additional power settings and you now need to select the high performance power plan. You might have just noticed that I'm running an ultimate performance. You won't have this available unless you activate it. I will pop links in the description below to some guides we've done on how you can also do that. But for now, set it to high performance and then see if that resolves the issue with the game not launching and also crashing. If that didn't help, then we now want to ensure that your third party security software if you do have any installed, it's not blocking the game. So go ahead and go into your security software and turn it to a passive or a game mode if it does have the option or disable it. Obviously, just keep in mind that while it's disabled, you won't be protected from security threats. If you don't have a third party security program installed and you're only using Windows, then we want to just quickly ensure in our firewall that we're not blocking my time at Samrock. So open up the start menu and this time type in Windows Defender Firewall. And you then need to select Windows Defender Firewall, not the advanced security. Next, we need to click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And you then need to press M, just click anywhere in this list and press M. You then need to scroll down until you find My Time at Samrock. And as you can see, it's got a tick under Private and Public. If yours isn't in the list, then click on change settings, allow another app, and you then need to browse for the games.exe, so the one that we applied the run as administrator to earlier, and then add it to the list, 
And once you've done that, tick private and public, and then just press OK. And if it wasn't in the list, then hopefully that would have been the reason why the game wasn't working on your computer. Alrighty, the next step will depend on what program you did purchase the game through, whether it be Steam or the Epic Games Launcher. So I will show you how to do this in both launchers. The first launcher I'm going to show you how to do this is in Steam. So if you use Steam, you need to do this. Once you're in Steam, you need to go to your library and you then need to find the game within your games list. So you can see it's there, My Time at Samrock. Right click on it and then go to Properties. Next, you need to ensure that you do not have anything within the Launch Options box. So as you can see, mine is currently empty, which is all good. If you did have anything in this box, then remove the text and then try launching the game. If you're using the Epic Games Launcher, then this can be done by opening up the Epic Games Launcher. You then need to just simply click on your profile icon in the top right hand corner and you then need to click onto settings. Next you need to scroll down and you then need to find the game. I'm going to use Fortnite as the example. You then need to expand it and then you will see additional command line arguments. Just untick this option and then go ahead and launch the game if you did have anything in that box. Okay, so if that didn't help resolve the issues you're facing with my time at Samrock, then the next thing to do is just keep the launcher open that you purchased the game in, and you then need to go to your games library. And if you're using the Epic Games Launcher, like I've currently got open at the moment, you need to click on the three dots, and you will then see an option for verify. There's an update available for that, so I won't be able to show you on that, but I can show you on this game here. You can see that it says verify. Go ahead and select this option and it will then begin to verify the game files. So that's how you do it in the Epic Games Launcher. If you purchase the game through Steam, then you can do this quite easily as well. Just simply right click on the game again in your games list, go to properties and then go to local files and you then need to select verify integrity of game files and it will then begin to check the game files as well to see if any of them become corrupt or missing. So if unfortunately verifying the game files hasn't resolved the issue you've been facing with the game, then the next thing to do is just ensure that you haven't got any overclock settings applied to your hardware if you have overclocked it. So if you know how to, remove the overclock settings and then try launching the game. But obviously don't do this if you're not sure how. So that now does bring me to the end of this video. If you're still unable to get the game to launch or play without crashing, then you will probably be looking at reinstalling the game. So I hope this video did help you out and you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.